Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create VPN and always on VPN connections using Policy Pack. Now, if you've ever tried to do this before, you know this is a hugely difficult thing. Um, however, we're going to try to show you how to do it very, very fast. Now, what is true is that you need what we call a template connection, one that does, in fact, already connect you over to your VPN uh, server. Once you have this, you're ready to go. So be sure to get started only after you have your template connection that works. Once you have this, there's a script you need to run called makeprofile.ps1 that you can get from Microsoft. I have the link uh, have the link available in the documentation. But once you run this script, what it does is it takes your template connection and gets you what's called your EAP profile. And this is the meaty guts that makes the thing work. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to copy it and hold on to that for just a second. What we'll then do is Let's go over to policy pack land. So for my for my sales team, I can either do user or computer side tunneling. So I'm going to go ahead and create a GPO here called PPVPN Demo 1. Okay, and then I'm going to edit this. Now I can create, like I said, either user side or device side tunneling. You just simply go to user or computer side. I'll do one first and then the other. So I'll go to VPN manager here and I will right click, add a new policy here. Okay. And Fill in the blanks. So we'll call this uh, user VPN one, and this can be an always on connection if that's what you want to do. And you just give the descriptions. So this is VPN one for Fabricam. Okay, my address is VPN one dot Fabricam dot com, and this will be the default server. If you have multiple servers, that's fine. Pretty much uh, after this, all you're going to do is take your EAP configuration and drop it in there. Uh, and for user method, uh, you're going to want certificates and go ahead and click next. The rest is pretty optional. I'm going to just slam through all this. I don't have any DNS requirements or proxy settings or split tunneling. You can enable it if you want to. Probably a good idea depending on your scenario. Um, I don't have any trusted network detections that I need to do here. And I'm ready to go. So I'll call this user VPN always on. And I'm ready to configure it. All right, so go ahead and hit finish. Let's see if it goes. If I go over here and I'll close this up, I don't need this anymore. I'll just open a command prompt and run GP update. Let's go ahead and see what happens in real time. Boom, there it is, my user VPN one, and it's always connected. If you go ahead and you try to disconnect, too bad, it's always on. It's called always on VPN. Okay, so we're done with that one. When you, if you don't want to use it anymore, you can right click, uh, delete it, or you can set it to disabled. And when we do this, we're going to automatically nuke that for you. We'll go ahead and show what that looks like here too. Go ahead and run GP update, and we'll say goodbye to that connection. And there it goes. All right. So now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and create a computer side device tunnel. So we'll do that on the computer side. We'll right click add a new policy here and we'll go ahead and click next. Now the connection type can't be automatic. If you want to do um, always on VPN on the computer side for tunneling, it's got to be Ike V2 specifically and then you can set it to always on. So we'll call this computer side device tunnel. Okay. And the description here, we can just call it Fabricam again and this will be VP vpn1.fabricam.com. Okay, we'll make this the default server here and we're ready to continue. Okay, now you're going to be using machine certificates to do this. Okay, and then you go ahead and click continue. If you have settings, unusual settings on the server, you can match those here. We'll set them, you know, that can be set. DNS settings if you are optional, proxy settings are optional, split tunneling is optional. Uh, you do have to select that here um, for um, always on VPN tunneling for on the computer side. So I'm going to go ahead and set it. And if you make a mistake, we actually help you at the very end. Now here is where you get to select finally device tunnel and we'll call this uh, device one, two, three demo. Okay. So again, if you make a mistake at this stage, we'll go ahead and let you know that and we're ready to check it out. So now we'll go to GP update here and let's see what happens. We're creating our device tunnel on the fly. Boom, computer device side tunnel connected and there's no way to disconnect. You try to disconnect, that's not a thing because it's always on VPN. And that's it, that's how fast you can create always on VPN connections on the user or the computer side. Now you don't have to make them always on VPN, you just uncheck the always on checkbox and you can have standard VPN connections. Hope this helps you out. Looking forward to getting you started with Policy Pack real soon. Thanks so much.
To find out more about how Netrix Policy Pack can simplify modern desktop security and management, go to netrix.com slash netrixpolicypack.